it was just very hard because he's just, he's one of my best friends. When Allison Flitton lost her best friend Mittens, there wasn't much to do but cry. When I lost him, I just, I never thought I'd see him again. I cried for a long time. Mittens disappeared about four months ago. That's when Allison's family drove their boat from Mountain Green to Salt Lake to get their boat repaired. What the family didn't know is that Mittens had snuck under the cover of that boat, and when mechanics pulled the cover back, Mittens ran away. I thought about him a lot. I just, I did give up hope. But hope. I mean, this cat was hungry. <laughs> hope was still alive, and Mittens was too. Allison Flitton didn't know it, but Mittens had apparently spent the last four months climbing the mountains and had made it nearly 30 miles from Salt Lake to Park City. So he came up under the tree. He Last weekend, walking right into Alice Paleo's yard. He was headed somewhere. I really think he was. This is a miracle cat. This is veterinarian Carl Pryor with Park City Animal Clinic. He treated the cat's injured feet. And the fact that he was able to get, get through Salt Lake City to the mountains and head the right direction. I mean, there's so many directions to go. But Pryor's convinced that Mittens was headed home. And thanks to a microchip, Pryor called the family to make this reunion possible. No way. You found him? No. Baby. <laughs> Allison has shed countless tears over mittens, but make no mistake, these are tears of joy. <laughs> In Park City, Nick McGurk, good for Utah.